when we actually get the data, depending on where the source comes from, you get that initial element of, of you know, here's that, you know, mentioned a few times here, that chain of custody of data. So when the data comes out of the network, you're, you've got your starting point, uh, and then it moves along, you say, okay, did someone access it here? Was it altered here? How was it altered here? And if you just go access it again, you have this kind of initial source of trust, which is very important when you're dealing with multinational companies or multinational resources or whatever institution. Um, people can access the same source of data instead of a, a centralized source where you have somebody can upload, take the data out, they can change something, and they can re-upload it, and you don't know exactly what happened, and you have to just trust that whoever had it before did something that was correct, and you can't necessarily go back and access that. Or on the decentralized system, you say, well, there's multiple copies in multiple, multiple locations, and you can say, here was an access copy, and you can't necessarily build off of something that you can't trust the initial answers on, mm -hmm. and that's really where this trustless, kind of immutable system is, is significantly better in the overall mm -hmm. tracking of this. Right. Um, as well from a reporting perspective, again, going back to you know, the difficulties of tracking and uh, displaying your scope two and scope three emissions for a lot of the different reasons that was discussed on this panel, the difficulty of understanding where certain minerals came from or where that supply chain um, potentially broke down in, in terms of the, the emissions and the overall impact. Uh, so being able to access those pieces and then seeing where those pieces were altered is extremely important. Thank you. Yeah.